What's up, YouTube fam? This is your boy Maximus Decimus, and I'm coming to you with a pro tips video for Dark Souls 3. One of my favorite games of all time is the Dark Souls series itself, and I'm hoping that these few tips uh, from us practicing over and over and giving uh, hours of time can help you guys out if you're uh, having trouble parrying. So we're gonna couple. Of we're gonna cover a couple of <laughs> a couple of you know, different types of parries. We're gonna start off with the spell parry. Then we're gonna go on to the half parry. Uh, then we're gonna go on to the roll parries and the unparryable items. Uh, so first off is gonna be spell parries. Now uh, in this game, if you've played for a number of hours or you played the previous games then you know that magic was a super op in all the dark souls games ever so uh, some people will have their opinion about it but me myself i don't feel that way i feel like magic has been super overpowered from the beginning i hate all magic users magic spammers just magic -y, magical princess unicorn fucks uh but anyway moving on going on to the magic parries one of the magic parries that you can't seem to parry in this one we've always taken damage uh is the dart so if someone is using the dart or if you come up against an enemy that is using the dart spell then i don't recommend that you parry it and again this is not like 100 percent set in stone you know this video is just us going over and over again testing things and seeing how it turns out so use this footage uh, to your advantage uh, in a practical manner we're trying to see what types of parries and what weapons that we're going to be using that are that are going to be able to help you like in pvp or in even in pve uh, so one of the um, easier things to parry is going to be miracles Miracles are super easy to parry. Most of them don't come at you very fast. But mir miracles, as far as magic goes, from what I've seen in the game, uh, is basically the strongest form of magic in the game, which is new. Another thing, parrying arrows. So I've slowed the footage way down so you can see. Uh, I don't think you can parry arrows. We've broken it down at 60 frames per second. I've gone really slow, and I don't think that it is possible. I was still taking damage on every hit. Now, moving on to pyromancies. Pyromancies, I don't recommend parrying them because sometimes they fall to the ground and they'll still hurt you. So next up is the half parries. And if you don't know, I'll explain to you that a half parry is going to be when someone uh, swings at you and the the move still connects but you get the parry animation off so you may not get a parry but it still makes that clink noise and you're gonna not get the parry sometimes and sometimes you will but you will take damage and one thing about half parries as you can see in the footage is you won't take as much damage as you normally would but you will take twice the amount of stamina so remember that the twice the amount of stamina so next up is setup parries and uh setup parrying is this gonna be uh, a technique that more pro gamers use or i'm gonna say uh elite pvpers use and that is you hold up your shield and you get ready you take the first blow or you take two blows and then you parry as they're spamming r1 and this is extremely effective against douchebaggers that use the darth ray sword which we all know if you are in the dark souls 3 community you know that the darth ray sword is super op because it swings like a straight sword but it does damage like a great sword <clears throat> and we have those r1 spammers where they spam r1 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 ah, r1 to death r1 to death right so you know that's just one of the things i think everybody hates but uh moving on <clears throat> going on to uh this is a good technique especially for uh, weapons that hit really really fast like rapier spammers that we all know uh exist in all the call of duty universe i mean not call of duty i ah, scratch that 
in all of the Dark Souls universes. You know, you have the rapier users that use Dark Moon Blade, uh, Sunlight Blade, all of that. We don't like those guys. But moving on to roll parries. Roll parrying is going to be another technique that uh, you're going to want to incorporate. Uh, especially if you want to get better at your PvPing, and a lot of times mobs will be chasing you. And what you can do is, when you're running away, when you roll, you uh, you roll, and as soon as you roll, they try to swing and hit you out of your roll, coming out of your roll. So when you roll and you're coming out, you press the parry button, and you'll land a parry most of the time because it's this it's more of an anticipation type of thing and also uh, another roll parry would be when people are rolling at you a lot of times they'll roll towards you and as soon as they roll towards you you know that they're coming at you with a r1 straight out of the parry i mean straight out of the roll so now moving on to the most important part of the video and i i think personally the most helpful part are weapons uh, that are parryable and non parable we're trying to get rid of some of the myths so the first one up is whips whips are not parryable um, don't even try it we've tested it for hours lances uh, spears and charging attacks even the R2s with all weapons that we've tested that do charging attacks even with L2s are parryable the next thing I want to touch on is jumping attacks. Uh, jumping attacks are not parryable. They're just not. We've tested it. We've done it over and over again. Like I've said, I can't even reiterate uh, that the, what you see right there with the Black Knight Great Axe is actually the R2, which is a jumping animation with the R2. So if any weapon has a jumping animation with an R2, is just gonna be it's gonna be parryable but if someone is just doing a general jumping attack uh, especially with L2 jumping attacks then you're not gonna be able to parry it we've tried it with the twin daggers we've tried it with the claws uh, we've tried it with uh, other weapons just doing regular jumping attacks and even though we've done it over and over again we couldn't get a parry on it we've got tons of half parries but us in general we just couldn't do it it's not doable uh, another thing is parrying from behind so when you parry in this game you actually don't have to be looking at the person you can actually pair them from any angle as long as the swing is right on top of you so like you see in the video right now he's coming up behind me <clears throat> no he's, he's not coming behind me but he's fucking behind me you know what I mean but he's behind me and you see I pair him every time I don't have to be actually looking at him but one thing about pairing from the back is that it usually only works if the person is at a distance if they're right on top of you it's not gonna work like you can you can try and spam the button spam parry uh, if someone's coming up behind you but if they're right up on you you'll just get sucked into the animation um, so if someone is trying to get behind you don't try to parry them in that situation that wouldn't be uh, a good idea so uh, 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 another weapon that was thought to be unparryable is the the sweeping move with the Farron's uh, great sword so the sweeping move move is parryable it is one of those things where you just have to have perfect timing the sweep animation will actually sweep you and hit you one time and stun lock you and so the second hit will hit you because you'll be stunned from the first uh, sweep move if you're too close okay using the double swords I forgot what the name of these swords are but this these swords the double swords with the spin move is not parryable. so uh, in conclusion I just want to say uh, thank you guys for watching this far I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, go back and look at different parts that I've slowed down. And I hope that helps you with your parries in the future. 
uh, please drop a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed this video i appreciate you guys support i'm just now reaching uh close to 100 views on my other video so i must be doing something right anyway until next time umbasa